All right, there we go. How's everybody doing? Happy, happy, happy Sunday. <laughs> happy Sacred Pathways Sunday. My name is Allison Rozelle, and I am the spiritual liberation coach for Black women. And I welcome you to this space. So as you can see, I made a little change to the name. Traditionally, I've been calling it the Sacred Pathway Sermon. Um, but I want to give honor to the fact that today is Sunday. So I'd rather say Sacred Pathway Sunday because, yeah, that just flows a lot better. And Sermon was starting to just not sit well with me. So I changed it because I can do that. <laughs> So how's everyone doing on this beautiful Sunday morning, if you're watching this live, um, if you are listening to this on the podcast or um, watching the replay, then I still welcome you. And how are you doing on whatever day it is that you are tuning in? So I have a little like flutter going on behind me because my window is to the side of me. So you might see a little change in light and everything else um see if i can change here maybe that might make it a little less distracting um i don't feel like getting up to uh change or um adjust the blinds so we're just gonna deal with it <laughs> all right so this is our weekly reading so every week on sunday i give a reading to uh help guide us through this week so we'll know as far as our energy is concerned what we need to be focusing on um, because a lot of times we spend so much of our our days our weeks or just like time period on focused on things that don't really need to be focused on um, that aren't serving our highest good and we always want to make sure that we are in the aligned in the aligned space to do what is working to our highest good. So I have six cards in front of me. Today, we're going to be using numerology guidance cards by Michelle Buchanan. I really love these cards. I got them, was it last month when I bought these cards? And um, I fell in love with them. I love them. Um, I love the colors and I love the teachings. I use the guidebook, um, but not often, unless I come across a card and pull it and I'm like, but why is this here? I don't understand why this came up. And if it's not clear to me, then I'll get the guidebook. Um, and incidentally, let me go ahead and say this. For the people who are learning to read, cards whether it's tarot or um oracle my specialty is oracle cards i don't really deal with tarot i'm not called for tarot and you know that's just not my journey now it's not to say later spirit might be like okay now you need to really learn more about tarot um but right now no so but don't be afraid of the guidebook because a lot of times the people who create these cards, sometimes they want you to use their guidebook. They, I mean, they print out these books that are literal books. <laughs> so as you can see, it has a lot of good information. And all it is is just helping you in your guidance. It doesn't make you any less intuitive by using the guidebook, okay? So relieve, let that relieve you so that you stop thinking that you have to totally rely on just the intuition because your intuition is still there and it's still speaking. It's still coming forth because intuitively you pulled that card, right? So you could have pulled any card, but the card that you pulled, apparently that's the message that you needed. So give thanks, take a breath. It's all to the good. So enough of that lesson. And who knows? I may eventually become um, a teacher of all things Oracle, if I'm led that way. <laughs> so this week, we want to know what we need to be concentrating on. So we started a new um, 
zodiac in Pisces, I believe. Uh, and the Pisces energy has a lot of people very creative, feeling very um, creative and free right now. I don't know. How have you been feeling in this energy? So um, peace to all the Pisces that are out there. So we're going to just take a moment and I got the cards and they're already talking to me. So I think I need to start. So what you're going to do if you're, you've not followed me do this before, you're going to pick. I have cards that go from my left to my right, cards one through six. What you're going to do is you're going to decide, as I scratch here, sorry, on my eye. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like something is sitting right there in the corner of my eye. I think I got it, though. Um, What you're going to do is you're going to imagine in your mind's eye these six cards, these six beautiful purple cards. I'm saying this um, because some people actually just listen to this broadcast <laughs> instead of watch it. But for those watching, you can see how beautiful these cards are. They're very pretty. So imagine those cards in your mind's eye that are sitting in front of me, one through six. And I want you to decide which card is calling out to you. Is it card number one, two, three, four, five, or six? And keep in mind of that number. Now, all of these cards are going to give us kind of a, a weather report, if you will, for the week. But the card that you're choosing is the one that you need to pay extra attention to. Because that's the one that's saying, you know, those cards, they compliment me because this is where you really need to make your energy go. Does that make sense? All right. And I got this style of reading from one of my favorite card creators and readers. Her name is Colette Baron reed um, You can find her cards on her website and through Hay House. Um, she's a Hay House author. Um, so just a little tasty tidbit. And incidentally, so is um, Michelle Buchanan. Um, her cards I got through Hay House as well. Because a lot of people ask me, where do I get some of my cards or how can they find some? Now, you can find some just about anywhere. And I don't know how this became a, a lesson on Oracle cards, but I feel led to go here. Um, so you can go, of course, you know, the big beast of ordering anything and everything that everybody loves to hate. <laughs> And hates to love, and that's Amazon. No shade on Amazon, because I use them. Yes, I'm a Prime member. I am not ashamed to say. Um, but at the same time, I do believe in supporting small businesses and especially black businesses. So if they ain't on Amazon, then I order directly from the source. So you can find Oracle cards and tarot cards through other sites like Etsy, um, and if you, you know, happen to follow certain hashtags on like, um, Instagram, like we're on now, like black spirituality or African spirituality or just spirituality, you'll find a lot of people post about different cards. So that's how a lot of times I'm finding some of the cards that I have on my little list that I'm saying, okay, I'm keeping in mind of this deck, okay, that deck too, that seems very interesting, and that's how I go about doing that. So, that's how you go. But, if you want to go to Hay House, Hay House has a lot of cards. I'm not doing an ad for them, I'm just saying this is where you can find a lot of really great cards as well. Alright, so enough about that. Let's get to this reading. I'm ready. So, card number one. This is the card that sets everything off and lets us know, okay, where are we going in this week? Where are we starting? Ooh. Love partnership. <laughs> card number 26. Ironically, last week's reading was about love and welcoming love. So, maybe we're going to do some more work on that. I don't know. Let's see. So, love partnership is card number one. So for love partnership, I want to know why is that first. So let's go to the book. 
Because of all cards that could have come first, why is this one first? Because see, I always want to know this stuff. So this card indicates a time when a romantic relationship is about to enter your life. <laughs> Perhaps you are single and are about to meet a special someone, or maybe your current relationship is about to progress into a deeper level of understanding and commitment. Either way, love is just around the corner, provided you believe. In the meantime, you're encouraged to focus on what you have to offer rather than what you like to receive. By doing so, you will attract a mutual, a mutually loving relationship that serves both parties' needs. Remember, you must believe that love exists in order to attract it in your life. So work on any limiting beliefs or negative thoughts that you may have about love. So there's a little more on there, but I get it. This is the gist of it. So now we have to start working on our beliefs. We need to believe, we need to work on what we believe we deserve, what we believe we're worthy of, what we believe that um, is for us. Do we believe in love? Because there are a lot of us walking around as black women who don't believe in love, who don't understand love, who have never um, experienced love, or maybe they have and they just didn't know how to recognize it. So... With this card, I kind of like that this is the first card because what it's saying is, okay, before we get to anything else, whether it's a romantic relationship that you're endeavoring, whether it's a business relationship, work relationship, friendship, whatever, we first have to start with what you believe. We have to start with your belief system because if that's wrecked, then the rest of the stuff that you're trying to do, whether you're trying to manifest love, manifest money, manifest peace, manifest joy, or anything like that, if you don't have the right belief system, belief system in place, all that is mute or moot. <laughs> all of that is moot. It is, uh -uh. It's no bueno. It's not going to happen. So that's why that's there. I love that that's the first card. Let's go to card number two. Ooh spiritual career spiritual spiritual career i've never pulled that one before didn't know that that one was in there i mean i scanned my cards but uh yeah that's interesting so this looks like there's going to be some partnerships happening with all of this this week this this looks like this could be good so spiritual career, this card indicates an opportunity to embark upon a career in the mind, body, spirit arena. This could be a full-time full -time or part-time venture. It's entirely up to you. You may already have the credentials to begin this work now, or you may require further study before you're ready to start. Whatever the situation, this card is confirmation that you have genuine talents and abilities that need to be put to good use. So I'm going to stop on that. So what it looks like this is saying is, <clears throat> it's not so much of the, maybe the romantic partnership, or it might, but whatever it is that you are in the middle of, or you've been thinking a lot about, or um, kind of going back and forth of, do I deserve this? Should I do this? Am I worthy of having whatever this is? And then spiritual spiritual career comes and says, look, whatever you're doing, you're going to integrate your spirituality. So I think it's more or less of, and it like, again, it could be that you particularly are about to embark on this career. But what I'm thinking that this is saying right now, and card number three will give me more information, is... First, we got to fix your belief system. Once we get your belief system right, then we got to get your spirituality in connection and alignment with whatever it is that you are endeavoring to do. So let's go to card three. 
synchronicity. Okay, so now it's starting to make more sense. So synchronicity means stuff's lining up. People are lining up. Everything is going to come together and flow in a way that is beneficial for you. But again, you got to work on your belief system. You got to go back to those spiritual practices and start integrating that into your life, into your love life, into your friendships, into your your work into your job, into all of those things. So it all comes together and works together, but it starts with the belief. You got to understand I'm worthy and deserving of love, of peace, of joy, of money. That's where, that's where this is going. So let's go to card number four. Oh, so card number three with synchronicity. Again, this is alignment. These are things that are flowing and working together. So card number four, music. Music. So music, this is this is saying raise your vibration. Raise your vibration. Do things that are high vibrational uh, things. No more, you know, circling. I hate to say this, but circling the bowl with the low vibrational energy low vibrational people, low vibrational uh, things that you're doing, whether it is the music you're listening to. If you're listening to a lot of woe is me, the man done left me and broke my heart, and you've been listening to that for the longest time, that's making your vibration go really, really low. You want the stuff that's going to give you the high vibes, like turn on like Boogie Wonderland and just start dancing and just get yourself into a groove or turn on, you know, whatever makes you happy. Um, stop watching sad, sad movies, stuff that's going to get you all down and depressed. No, this is a week of high vibe. But you got to start first with getting yourself aligned with your beliefs, bringing your spirituality to the table, making sure that you are aligning with things and people who are in alignment with you and being high vibrational. Card number five, karmic completion. And immediately when I looked at that, what's for you is for you, what's not is not. Immediately what came to my mind, what's for you is for you, what's not is not. You reap what you sow, right? So if you ain't putting nothing in, you ain't getting nothing out. <laughs> Plain and simple. What you put out into the world is what you get back. So if you've been doing nothing but negative Nancy stuff and you've been really negative, if you've been really like mean and overly aggressive and just, you know, not high vibrational at all, well, guess what? That's what you're going to get back. That's what you're going to get back. Karma is a bitch and we all know that. But it can be a good thing if you are sowing, if you are reaping what you've sown in the right energy. So let's get card number six. I'm loving this reading, by the way. I don't know about y'all. <clears throat> Self-love. Self-love is the last card. Why? Because this is what it's all about. The overarching thing here. These are all related to your relationship with yourself. So this love partnership is actually the partnership between you and your higher self. It's between you and you. This is the relationship. This is the partnership that is this overarching thing. This is all about you. So when we think about that song, I bet you think this song is about you. It is about you. This reading is about you. This is about us individually. So self-love is the end uh, at the end of the road for this. This is you becoming more in love with you. That is the ultimate love relationship. That is the ultimate partnership. Because if you don't have that part right, the rest of that stuff is going to be shot to hell. You are not going to be able to have those kind of loving relationships that you say that you want. So let's go back and review because I'm telling you, this reading got me so darn excited. Y'all, <laughs> get on board. I am excited about this. So let's go. 
back over this. So we started with our love partnerships. The love partnership. Letting us know that first things first, you got to believe in love. You got to believe in you. You got to believe that you are worthy and deserving to have the things that you say that you want. That's the reason why a lot of us don't manifest. It's because first, we don't even think that we deserve it. We want it, but we just don't think that we deserve it or that we could have it. The next thing, spiritual career. So this is not so much of saying that you got to go out and become a, a, a reader or a Reiki healer or a coach or anything like that. Although you might, you might. Um, but what this is saying is in all things that you're doing, in everything that you're doing, don't forget your spirituality. Don't forget your relationship with your higher power. As um, my favorite card creator says, one of my favorite card creators, Colette Baron reed she always repeats this same thing. She says, how do I shine on behalf of the divine? And I love that. How do I shine on behalf of the, the divine? So how are you shining on behalf of the divine? Are you incorporating that in all things in your life? And then synchronicity, things are lining up. Things are lining up. People are lining up. So the things that you're needing and understanding um, that you want for yourself, it's all starting to line up and come together. But in order for that to happen, you got to you gotta get the music in your head that gets you the high vibe. You got to, and this doesn't mean music itself. It just means that you're doing things that are high vibrational for you and you're raising your level of expectation. You're raising your vibration and you're saying, I am worthy and deserving of all good things. Don't matter what my past is. This is all about me right here and now. Then karmic, what's for you is for you. You, you reap what you sow. So just remember what you've put in, you'll get back. And then lastly, it's all about your self-love. How much do you love yourself? Going through all of this, do you get a better understanding for yourself of who you are and whose you are? And loving yourself enough to know that you are worthy and deserving. So, that is the reading for this week. Let me know what you think about it. Drop me a comment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Make sure you share. Whatever platform that you're watching this on, please like, subscribe, um, follow, whatever the um, lingo is for whatever platform that you're watching this on or listening to this on. Because to me, if you like something, you should like it and let the person know that you like it. And you should subscribe. You can comment in some on some of these platforms. Um, but if you are on a platform that you can't comment, but you just want to tell me about it, then come back here to Instagram and put a comment below. And then that way I can know what you think about my videos and the readings. Do you find them helpful? Are they um, lining up with you? So I really want to know that stuff. So I'd appreciate it if you would just let me know. All right. So that's all I got. This has been a beautiful reading and, um, don't forget to tune in tonight. Go to Facebook and um, we will continue our Honor Your Energy series slash challenge. We're on day five, I believe we are, tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook. And don't worry, if you're not on Facebook, the replay will be on Instagram, okay? That's all I got. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day. I love you. Bye-bye for now.